Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm sharing with you on how to crochet this cozy hat. As you can see, the stitches are pretty close to each other, so there's no big hole in between. So this is pretty cozy in the winter time. In the video, I'm making a kid size for age three to five years old. I have the braiding pattern from age one to extra large, and you can find the link in the description box. For this project. I'm using a number four medium acrylic yarn, but you can use any types of yarn of your choice. A five millimeter hook, a pair of scissors, and a yarn needle. And it's optional for the pom pom. This is my crochet ring. With this crochet ring, I could crochet for hours without putting down my hook. And I highly recommend if you crochet a lot. It is to help ease the pain on the finger so that the yarn is not pulling the finger. Super helpful. The link is also in the description box. All right, let's get started. To begin the pattern, grab hold onto the tail and make a major circle. With my number five millimeter hook, go under the first loop, pull through the second loop, and twist. Yarn over and pull through the working yarn. And voila! Once we have the magic circle, one chain. Place 10 half double crochet in the magic circle. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over and pull through three loops. That's one. Again, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over and pull through three loops. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10. Now that we have 10 half double crochet, pull the tail to close the circle. To begin the next round, slip stitch into the first stitch. One chain. In the same stitch, place two half double crochet. One, two. On the next stitch, two half double crochet. One, two, two half double crochet. So for this round, Place two half double crochet in every stitch. By the end of the round, there'll be 20 stitches. And I'll meet you on round three. To begin the round, slip stitch into the first stitch. One chain. In the same stitch, place one half double crochet. On the next stitch, Increase. So place two half double crochet. One, two, one half double crochet. Increase. And this is a repeat for this round. By the end of the round, there'll be 30 stitches. And I meet you on round four. Round four is another increase round. Slip stitch into the first stitch to begin. One chain. In the same stitch, place one half double crochet. One half double crochet. Increase. So two half double crochet on the stitch. 
The repeat for this round is half double crochet into 2 stitches. Then increase. By the end of the round, there will be 40 stitches. And I meet you on round 5. To begin round 5, slip stitch, 1 chain. In the same stitch, place a bean stitch. That is, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, insert into the same stitch, pull through, yarn over, insert into the same stitch again, and pull through. One, two, three, four, five, six loops. Yarn over and pull through six loops. One chain to close. That's a bean stitch. Skip the next stitch and place a bean stitch. Insert, pull through, yarn over, insert, pull through, yarn over, insert, pull through. Yarn over and pull through six loops. One chain. Skip one, bean stitch. By the end of the round, there will be 20 bean stitches, and I meet you on round 6. Round 6 is another increase round. Slip stitch into the first stitch. That's this one over here. One chain. Place a half double crochet in 4 stitches. One, two, three, four. Increase on this stitch. One and two. And the repeat for this round is Half double crochet in four stitches. Then increase. By the end of the round, there will be 48 stitches. And I meet you on round 7. To begin round 7, slip stitch, 1 chain, on the same stitch, bean stitch. One chain. Skip one, bean stitch. One chain, skip one, bean stitch. And this is a repeat for this round. There's going to be 24 bean stitches by the end of the round. As you can see, the pattern is really straightforward. Basically, just alternate the half double crochet stitch and the bean stitch. So I will stop here and have the total number of stitches on the screen. And we are still increasing on the half double crochet round until we have 72 stitches on round 12 and 36 in stitches on round 13. And I'll meet you at the end of round 13. At the end of round 13, my hat measures just over 8 inches and by 4 inches. From here, we're not doing any more increasing. But we want to continue the pattern by alternating half double crochet stitch and a bean stitch until we reach the height of 5.5 to 6 inches. This is the end of my row 18, so I did 5 rows. Now my hat measures about 6 inches, and I finished it with the half double crochet stitch. Before moving on to the next part, make sure the last round is a half double crochet round. 
119 to 121 are the same. We are placing a half double crochet in the third loop, which is the horizontal bar at the back right below the back loop. This one right here. So half double crochet and make sure you do not skip the first stitch. This one. And this is the third loop. Just like that. And again in the next stitch. Repeat this for three rounds. By the end of every round, we still have 72 stitches. And I meet you on round 22. On round 22, we're still working with the third loop. But instead of using half double crochet, we're using single crochet. So single crochet in the third loop on every stitch all around. And I meet you at the end of the round. At the end of round 22, after the last stitch, cut yarn, use a yarn needle, insert into the first stitch, and insert in the back loop of the previous stitch. And this will give you a nice finishing look. Lastly, is to fasten the tail. It's optional if you want to use a pom pom, or you can leave it as it is. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and the notification bell. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!